Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this episode series here, um, got a new tool belt here. Um, my first tool belt, actually. The reason I got this is because I'm spending a lot of time, time on the roof here. Um, specifically, uh, that one right there. That's That fascia right there is I replaced. Got to go back up there and finish it because I was... Uh, on the roof yesterday and it was raining um, so we'll see what this is about we'll go ahead and give it a try um, so far from the looks of it looks pretty pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and try this one out see how everything is going a lot of, a lot of things in here I guess I guess you put that in there to maybe give it more support I guess how you doing so we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. Sorry for the interruption there. Uh, coming back to you. So starting taking some of the labels off here and these things here, which go under here, they're kind of supporting supporting this. They go under here and they kind of slipped in, you know, like this. So. All right, uh, sorry about that for the interruption here. But basically what I got is my new tools, uh, two belts anyway. Um, got it because it's the least expensive and uh, looks like it fits my needs pretty well. So they got a lot of straps here that I, I could potentially use down here. Pockets are nice and big here on this side. Uh, pockets here and then the little this one has a little slots in them, as you can see. So I could put my screwdrivers and everything in. So, you know, guess what I got? I got this, the freebie. So I get, I'm going to use the freebie for my general purpose use for this belt. And so, of course, I got all my other tools I've been putting in here. Uh, and this is going to greatly increase my, first of all, safety level. Uh, now I can free up my hands and have my tools, and also um, convenience. And so, uh, let's see how it, how it goes. I'll I'll test it out. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a really good buy compared to some other places. Um, I I've seen the reviews on this, and it seems like a really negative review. Um, but I'm willing to take a chance on it because of the price. Uh, let's let's see how it works. Um, I know I'm, I'm only going to be using it for a couple hours brand new, but, you know, I'll, I'll do the updates, and we'll see how it goes. The, the, the weird part is that this back part here is stapled, which I kind of don't, don't like that. So I'm going to have to be, I'm going to try to be as gentle as possible, but this looks like this comes with the belt, and it looks like this might have been a separate item that they pieced together and, to package it. So uh, we'll give it a try. I'm going to cut out here. And uh, we'll we'll see how it goes, and uh, I'll try to get my tool set up so uh, so that we can we can get this done. And then um, all right, so let's I'm gonna cut out and just try to organize it a little bit better. Thanks. Bye. All right. Um, okay, so I got this kind of ready prepared. I got my tools out that I I've, I've had in this bucket that I think I'm gonna be using. Uh, for what I need, and so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, start putting these together. And of course, uh, the hammer will definitely go back in here. Um, I could, I'll probably need a tape measure, but uh, this is just a little drills and bits and stuff. So, uh, you know, things that I'm, I might need. I'm, I'll probably be needing some of these, so nice to have this around anyway. Um, I'll just put it. I'll just put it somewhere for now, and then, um, of course, these little things here could definitely hold um, my tools here. I might, I might put that. I might put that on before I start doing things. So let me go ahead and put this on here real quick. And you have to forgive me. I don't have my. I don't have my holster. Which, you know what? I should. I'm gonna wear my holster. 
And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, this is the rack I was telling you about that I have. You've all probably seen it. Definitely accommodate a lot of stuff, a lot of ladders. Um, okay, mine's uh, the one with the forklift. You can take a forklift right to this edge and just load your materials right on it. So, yeah. So, let's see here. What do I got today? Today, don't have my hoodie, but I got uh, my white. Oh, it's a whatever. It's one of those sh shirts that breathe and wicks sweat away. Got the long sleeve uh, because you know you still get sunburns on your arm. So let me go ahead and just uh, put this on now, and uh, just get an idea of how it how it feels. And I'm a pretty skinny guy, and this may have to. Yeah, uh, I'm very skinny. It's definitely going to be uh, going all the way in, but at least I'll have a wear a belt for it. Okay. Okay. Kind of has to be moved around a little bit, but eh, not too bad. I'm too skinny. It's actually just a little, little loose on me, but that's fine. So, uh, oops, sorry. So let's see the tools that I typically use. Um, I don't know if I need this again, but um, I have it. So I'll just put it in here somewhere. Uh, definitely going to be using a lot of... Definitely going to be using these. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put those in. I'll just put them in right now. Uh, these are so small. Um, I could probably just put them in one of the. Just drop them really in here. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh, these two are probably really common things I'm going to be using. So have this access. Have really good access to this. Let me see. These two are the least common. Put those in the back. So this could be right here. Uh, Definitely going to be using this, and there's some pockets up here in the front. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, put that right here. Uh, you know, I'm, so this is my first time owning a, a tool belt, so we'll just see what what this is all about here. And uh, uh, ten snips. I'm going to be using these today, and you know I am dominant right-handed. What I probably want to do is um, have my screws and other stuff, nuts and bolts, in um, on my left side where I got. This is more for garbage or picking up screws and stuff. So today, uh, I don't. I'm going, to, I'm going to be using this today, but I'll put it in later. Um, Masonry drill bits here coming up. But all my tools that I'm going to use with my hand here, this should really be on the on the left side, right over here. Um, I'll put on because I'm right-handed, dominant right hand. Uh, I'll probably be putting it right over here, using it in that way. these tin snips so I might as well just go ahead and just put them right in there where I can get to them um, this is a little too big I'm probably not going to be wearing this 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 is probably more the right size and then also having I don't have needle nose pliers or a needle nose uh, these are pliers this is this is me serve as multi-purpose here 
Um, I, what I'm trying to say, I don't have a needle nose, the fine, you know, needle nose. I have one of the vice, this is a needle nose vice grip, but not needle nose pliers, so, but it could serve as a needle nose pliers. So this is definitely going to be very handy if I can get it to close. That would probably be very helpful, but then again, you probably don't want it to close because it, it kind of opens up here. So having it open is not that bad. My only fear is that, uh, okay. No, I'll have to work on it. Um, this is going to help greatly, but there's no more slots here for me to put it. Well, now I take that back. There's some slots right here. Well, I think I need something better than that. Um, let's see if there's any other little slots that, that I possibly could use. No, not really. There's no really good slot for this anywhere. So I'm going to have to be creative. Here, I'll just put it in with the hammer. No, that's just going to fall out. That's just going to fall right out. Well, don't know what to do with this yet, but uh, this comes in handy. Uh, I'll try to figure something out. Let me see if I put it in my tool belt. Belt. Yeah, that's a, looks kind of weird. Well, don't know what to do with this. Maybe I'll just make a little mod here for it. Some, somehow, some way. It needs to be really, really tight. Well, I'll figure something out. I might just have to hold on to it and just put it in. Kind of, it's gonna be kind of awkward, but just have it, have it just hang out for now. just the way it's going to have to be. So, all right. Uh, I might have to put on my hoodie because, uh, man, this I'm really that skinny. does not fit on me. I'm not a fat person, I guess. So, okay. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. All right, so this is kind of what I've done with it so far. Or flat bars giving me a hard time. I'll figure something out. I have to do with it, but there. That's what I've done with it so far. I haven't figured out how to utilize the flat, flat bar here, but uh, I probably need my measuring tape. So let's pull you guys out real quick. This is kind of most of what I had in the bucket. Uh, probably gonna have this at least. And again. Uh, Slide this right under. Have it slid under. So that's kind of what I got. Probably don't need this. Got nothing. Uh, got these little stubby screws in the in the pocket. Probably really won't use them. Uh, but you never know. I'll just keep them around. Got some still extra pockets. Still things to hang with. And uh, I don't know if these are Velcro or not. Nope, they're not Velcro or anything. That's just the way it is. Things to hang on to. More things that can be in here. It's just the pry bar just doesn't really really go in there like that. That's the only, that's the thing about it. But I guess I'll try to figure it out. But there's places to hang things on. So. I'll try utilizing those things. So I know this is kind of where the hammer would typically go. So that's kind of what I have set up. Uh, I'll, 
I'll give it a try, see how it works, see how the tools hold up, and uh, from there uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. So um, I'll keep you up all updated on it. Um, all right, thanks. All right, everyone, thanks for uh, tuning back here. This is a new episode here on uh, basically this uh, belt. And uh, unfortunately, um, I have to tell you that this belt is way too large. I uh, <laughs> There's only one or two, so I just picked one that looked the best. I didn't realize there's different size, and, and lo and behold, um, this belt is way too big for me. Uh, probably have to return it, not that it, there's anything wrong with it. It's just that it doesn't fit, really fit around my waist. And uh, another thing is uh, I'm, what I might get later or maybe do some modifications on it again. Um, it's it's kind of nice to have suspenders on these. Um, so that's something I might, I might do later. Uh, again, another modification on my part, but uh, uh, just to keep you up to date. So that's kind of what, what happened. I mean, other than that, uh, what I had to do was uh, I had to wrap it around my shoulder to kind of utilize it, but I couldn't fully utilize everything as I wanted to, but I, I was able to use it. So uh, I, I, this is probably an update. Um, I probably need to do another update on this uh, when I get the <laughs> exchange it to get the right size. Unfortunately, um, this is my second place that I that I went to, and uh, of course it's already Monday's already passed, so this is they already stocked out for it. I may have to stop by somewhere else to uh, to get a third one, um, a third place to to see if they got one in my size. So it's not quite a pass, not quite a fail, you know. Um, it's kind of in limbo right now, but I am still able to utilize it. I just have to, you know, take the belt over my shoulder and use it that way instead of around my waist. So um, it would have been nice if it could have fit, and if it was a little tight and snug, uh, it would have been really helpful. But oh well, you gotta you gotta make do what you gotta do when you're out in the you know, when you're out in the field here on job sites and everything. So, anyways, uh, that's the update on the on the tool belt. Um, you'll just have to wait for another episode. Thanks. Bye.